Pro. Hello, welcome to It Is Our Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, just a quick uh, tip in Cubase 8 with regards to rendering place, and this is basically rendering a stereo file into mono. So as you can see, I've just got an audio loop. Um, there you go, playing away. And what we're, what we're going to do now is bounce that down into mono. So what we need to do is press F4 and open up our VST connections. And what we need to do now is just add a bus. And what we'll do is add a mono bus and add bus. And basically that's it. So what we need to do now in order to render this stereo file is we need to open up our mixer. So let me just minimize that and bring it in for you. So there's our mixer. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And in the routing section, what we need to do now, um, basically it's already routed to your master output. What we need to do is actually select the mono out. And that's it. So now when we go to render in place, right click, render in place, and render. That should bounce down into a nice little mono file. And there you go. You can see it's a mono mono file. So that's it. Uh, yes, it would be nice to have the option of just rendering in place mono from the normal settings. Uh, however, this is just a, a quick workaround now, um, just by creating a mono channel. The beauty of this now is you can use this on any track. Now that you've set up that mono channel, just make sure that you assign the output and it'll work every single time. So there you go, just another quick tip. Don't forget, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye-bye.